In this video, we will learn about an index called NDVI, what it is, and how is it used. By the end of this video, you should know what NDVI is, how is it calculated, and how NDVI is used to monitor changes in vegetation greenness. What is NDVI? NDVI stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index. It is a satellite image-derived index that quantifies vegetation density and health by measuring the difference between near-infrared light, which vegetation highly reflects, and red light, which vegetation highly absorbs. In other words, it is an index that can be used to estimate photosynthesis and can be used to evaluate vegetation greenness. As previously mentioned, plants highly absorb red light for photosynthesis and highly reflect near-infrared light and remote sensing sensors capture these patterns of high absorption of red light and low absorption or high reflectance of near infrared light. NDVI measures this light reflectance by capturing how much red light and near infrared light is hitting the satellite sensor. Simple yet elegant. NDVI is calculated by taking NIR minus red over NIR plus red, where NIR is the near infrared light and red is the red light on the visible spectrum captured by the sensor. There are many advantages to using an index such as NDVI to measure changes in vegetation greenness. The most important one is simple interpretability. It just takes values between the ranges of negative 1 and 1, although in real life we never usually get to those extremes. Therefore, by monitoring changes across time in what is called time series analysis and remote sensing, we can make inferences about long-term vegetation greening and identify areas where greening and browning are happening. For this research, we have used NDVI data derived from the AVHRR sensor. These data have been widely used across global and regional studies of vegetation greening, allowing for easy comparison between different studies. This research focused on the time period between 1982 and 2010 for two reasons. The first is that scientific literature shows that this is a time period where significant greening occurred across the globe. The second is that the NDVI data used for this research was only available up to 2010. In this research, we use NDVI data from 1981 through 2010 in a method called time series analysis. Now, broadly speaking, time series analysis is a set of data points ideally regularly taken over time. And the broad goal of time series analysis is to separate larger trends in a certain landscape or surface from seasonal trends and associated changes in vegetation phenology. For example, NDVI is an index that reflects phenology really well. So if you're measuring a temperate part of the globe, let's say Minnesota, NDVI will increase as spring progresses, peak at its maximum in the summer, decrease in the fall, and hit its low point in the winter. Temperature is another good example. Uh, temperature is affected by the seasons, but we also know that more broadly, it has been increasing globally over the past few decades due to climate change. Like with temperature, we can use time series analysis with NDVI to take a look at how vegetation has been changing, whether greening or browning processes have been occurring. So, in short, NDVI time series analysis allows us to look at a landscape and observe not just short-term shifts in seasonality, but also broader trends over time. In this video, we have learned about NDVI, what it is, and how is it used to monitor changes in vegetation greenness. There are many other indices. Perhaps you can look at some of them. Which sensors are they derived from and how they're used in remote sensing analysis? 